there is an incredibly tiny update to Visual Studio that you want to know about. In Visual Studio 2022 version 17.11, an additional shortcut was just added that allows you to comment or uncomment lines with just one key combination. So let's dive right in and see how that works. So the new key combination is control plus slash. So if you were just had a cursor in the middle of like, let's say you have TH uh, highlighted, hit control forward slash, and it is now commenting out that line. But wait, there's more. Don't change any, don't touch anything. Just hit control slash again, and the comment goes away which seems simple, but at the same time, this has not been in Visual Studio. This is the key combination in VS Code that so many developers asked for that they trialed it out and said, yes, this is something we want to add. And so they just put it in the new version of Visual Studio. So again, if you go to Visual Studio help about, I have version 17.11, of Visual Studio, it does not matter community versus professional versus enterprise. As long as 2022 edition, as long as 17.11 or greater, you're good to go. You should have this key combination. Now there is a key combination. If you hide it over the comment section, it's control K, control C. So if you hold down control and hit K and then C without letting go of control, that would comment this line. So control K C, that comments the line. But if I hit control KC again, that adds an extra comment, which is not what we want because the uncomment was control K control U. So you hit control K and hold down control and hit U and then uncomment, which is just so awkward. In fact, even though I've used Visual Studio for 20 plus years, I've never memorized that key combination. I always have to go up and just hit this button. It annoys me. Now we just hit control forward slash. We're good to go. And again, to go back. And if you want to comment multiple lines, not a problem. Let's highlight multiple control slash. It comments both of them as individual line comments, not as a whole section comment, which is helpful because then it can then come to one line and uncomment that line. And again, down to the other one. This is a really useful key combination. Again, it's super simple. It's super easy. Um, and I almost feel like I shouldn't do a whole video on this because how hard is this, right? But at the same time, this is a big deal that you should know about because this was a, a pain point that's affecting most, if not all Visual Studio developers. We've been asking for it for years. I didn't want you to miss it. So there you go. Control slash allows you, does not matter if you highlight part of lines like this, and then hit control slash, it will still do the commenting correctly and uncommenting. It's a very smart feature. It actually has a lot of kind of logic behind it to make sure it does it the right way, um, even though it's so simple. But this is the new feature. You can, again, control slash, notice to add the extra double slashes on, on the top comment and then um, taking them off. If you do it again, it, again, just takes it on and off. So if you highlight a line that has a comment with a regular line, it will make sure to add comments to both lines rather than, you know, taking them off of one or, or not doing one of us the other. So it's, it's a really smart feature. Check it out, try it out. Um, again, make sure you have the latest version of Visual Studio so you can use it. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.